Hello and welcome to episode 5 of the Weekly Wash, the video newsletter where each week I give you three recommendations of value that I think will help to improve your life because they have mine. Um, this week I'm going to be giving you three recommendations that are also kind of one recommendation. Um, it's three books by one guy. Let's jump in. The books in question are The Obstacle is the Way, Ego is the Enemy and Stillness is the Key. Now I'm recommending them all together because whilst they all have their own separate value to offer, they work really well as a complementary triad. In each book, Ryan writes about the ways that we can incorporate Stoic wisdom into our lives to help us improve them. And he does so by using historical examples, both ancient and also recent. Now I love all three of these books, but my favorite is, and probably always will be, The Obstacle is the Way. Partly because that's the one that I read first, but also because when The Obstacle Way came into my life, it came at a time when I really needed to hear the message that the book was giving. The general premise of this first book in the series is that rather than being stopped and stunted by the obstacles that lay in our paths, we should actually try and find a way that we can use them to help us further ourselves in our mission. And The Obstacle is the way has actually achieved something of like a cult-like popularity in American sports particularly where the players and coaches alike are looking to develop the mental aspect of their games more seriously. I mean, to me, that's great for, I guess, sports, sports athletes and players to be considering philosophy in the way that they prepare and train. That's fantastic. And I personally also have probably quite a cultish attitude around the obstacle is the way. I mean, I've read it about three times now and I'll probably go back and read it another time this year. Each time I do read it, it provides me with motivation, but also probably on a greater scale perspective. And it gives me sort of the means and the information I need to tell myself, you know, just step back and take a look at things from a different angle. And that really helps me to be smarter about the decisions that I make and the actions that I take. The second book that I'm recommending from this series of Ryan Holidays is Ego is the Enemy. And Ego is the Enemy kind of sat on my mental bookshelf for quite a while without me reading it. And I think the reason for that was because when I actually bought the book, I didn't feel particularly egotistical at the time, which is just really silly looking back on that fact. Ironically, I recommend mostly Ego is the Enemy to people that actually don't think that they need it. Because if you don't think that you have an ego problem, the chances are you probably do have some kind of ego problem. Reading it provided a bit of a wake up call for me and it helped me to reduce the impact that my ego was having on both my creative process, but also just my life in general. The final Ryan Holiday book that I'm recommending that he brought out, I think just last year, is Stillness is the Key. And I think this one is probably focused on the area that out of the three I am most developed in. And perhaps that's a little bit naive to say that, but what I mean by that is I've spent a lot of time considering and implementing the practice of stillness into my life. And I have practiced meditation for a large portion of my adult life. Here's the thing about meditation, it's ridiculously useful and it has changed my life massively. I would be a different person than I am now without the practice of meditation. But it's not for everyone. And that's one of the things that makes this book so good. Because there are a lot of books about this or a similar topic out there about the practice of mindfulness or stillness. But what Ryan Holiday actually did is that he just didn't include you know, the specific topic of meditation at all. And I heard him talk about this in a podcast, a few podcasts actually, because I listened to like a million podcasts when he was bringing this book out. And I think I ended up hearing the same interview over and over again with a different host. But that aside, he talked in these podcast interviews about the fact that meditation is the prime way of achieving stillness it's the most popular way but there, there's a hell of a lot of information out there about it and ryan also said meditation doesn't work for him and it doesn't work for a lot of people so he wanted to write a book that everyone could use 
that's why he wrote this book, Stillness is the Key, that is filled with like a number, a really large number of different examples of how we can practice stillness. Despite the fact that I have for quite a while now been implementing a stillness practice into my life, I still found this book really, really useful. And I think books like this are important right now at a time when all of us are just struggling to manage this constant flow of information like in and out of our heads. Books like this and stillness practices are really useful for helping us to process, to simply be and just find some peace and some rest for our minds. As you can tell from this entire episode, I'm a massive fan of Ryan Holiday's and something I hinted to a little bit earlier, I also really enjoy listening to him on podcast episodes because he has this lucidity and clarity of thought that I can only aspire to have myself one day. It's clear that he regularly considers deeply the ways that he lives his own life and how people can live their lives better. These are books that he's thought about, written about, but also practice himself. And the reason you know that he practices the ideas within these books is because he has literal skin in the game. If you were to, <laughs> don't do this, but if you were to strip Ryan of his clothes, you'd find, <laughs> sorry, you'd find that he's got all of the titles of the books tattooed on his body so that when he needs some guidance, he just looks down at one of his tattoos and, you know, the title, Stillness is the key, Uga is the enemy obstacle, the obstacle is the way, invokes and inspires him to practice and enact that principle. So there's three recommendations, pretty short today. But in fact, because I'm feeling kind, I'm going to give you one more bonus recommendation that's a little bit less taxing on the mind. And that recommendation is of a TV series because recently, I'd say for the past year or so, I've become a bit disillusioned with TV series. Obviously, we had this kind of little period of time where TV series have shot up and almost overawed the film industry, in a sense. A lot of companies are opting for TV series instead of films. And we had all of these great series come out, notably Game of Thrones. But I feel like since then, TV series have gone downhill. I just feel like the quality has become a little bit lower now that there's such abundance. But recently, I went back to Mr. Robot because I'd already seen the first se three seasons of Mr. Robot, which I really, really enjoyed. But I kind of, I don't know whether I was just too busy when it came out or what. This happens to me regularly, that a season will come out and I won't become aware of it until like a year later. I started watching season four of Mr. Robot and man, like, the, like I said, the first three seasons were brilliant, but there's some episodes in this fourth season that are incredible. Like the quality of some of these episodes, I think particularly five and six episode no episode four and five episode four in particular was just beautiful in the way it was shot in the way it was acted uh, the score uh, obviously mr robot is basically for those of you that don't know it's a tv series about a anti so an anti-social hacker who wants to bring down the world in terms of the evil forces that run the world and it stars Rami Malek and also Christian Slater as the main characters. <laughs> Not trying to give anything away. I don't know whether I can give that away or what, but it's a brilliant series, a really brilliant series. And I think if I remember rightly, there's probably three really, really good seasons in the whole series. Maybe one, and I can't remember which one, it's either season two or three, maybe slow things down a bit, but Stay in it for season four because it's fantastic. And it's actually on Amazon Prime. Most of us, I think, have Amazon Prime nowadays just because of the cost you have to pay to get things delivered slower if you don't have it. You're kind of forced into getting it, really. That's your bonus recommendation. And there we will actually tie it up. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. I hope that you will pick up maybe just one of Ryan Holiday's books. If you're going to pick up one, 
unless we're being specific to each person as a general recommendation i would say start with the obstacle is the way because that will make you realize how much value there is in stoicism but also in ryan's writing um you can get these books on amazon i'll put links in the description below uh, apart from that please go to my website jack in the wash you can find my writing there i'm trying to get more prolific with my writing but it's hard it's hard i've got a full-time job and i do this as a hobby that i want to be my job we'll get there eventually uh, otherwise on my website i put movies up there and books a bit more slowly than the writing go back and check the previous episodes of the weekly wash because i try my best i mean i don't try my best what i do is I recommend things that are timeless. So they're not really going to expire. So the recommendations from episode one, two, three, four, they will still be useful recommendations, hopefully in 10 years, with the odd exception, like a, you know, a newsletter might fade away. But things like books, they're not going anywhere, especially really good books. Um, all right then, that's gonna be it. I'm a little bit caffeinated today. So I need to go and crash. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed the episode. Have a lovely week. Take care. Bye-bye.